Hi, how's it going? Welcome to Code with Z. In today's video, we have to see how many times you can form the word balloon with this string that we have here. Why? Well, because that's what lead code 1189, maximum number of balloons, is asking us to do. As you can see, it says, given a string called text, so for example, this one that we have here, you want to use the characters of text to form as many instances of the word balloon as possible. You can use the characters in text at most once. So we basically can only use one character once and then return the maximum number of instances that can be formed. So we basically have to see how many times we can form balloon and then at the end, we're gonna return that number. So for example, if we were given this, we can return one because we can only form one balloon from this string that we are given. As you can see, B A L l o o n so one time one instance so we're going to return one all right let's see how we can solve this so our approach is going to be pretty simple we're going to loop through the string or the text that we are given for example in the first round of our loop we're going to be pointing to this letter that we have here and on each round we're going to grab the letter and store its frequency so for example we're going to have an object called frequency and then we're going to be like okay we have n we've never had n before so the frequency of n is going to be one and then we're going to move on to the next round. We're going to be like, all right, have we had L before? Not really. So we're going to put it here and we're going to be like, okay, the frequency is one. For example, if we had another N here, we would just add one to this frequency number that we have here. And that would be it. And then we're going to move on to the next one. We're going to be like, do we have A in our frequency object? We don't. So we're going to be like, okay, one occurrence of A. And then we're going to do the same thing for E. We have one E and then B, we have one B and then O. We have one O and then L. Well, if we check, we do actually have L here. So we're just going to add one to it because that means we have two occurrence of the letter L inside of our string and then K we don't have it. So we're going to add it here. And then O if we check, we already have O here. So we're going to add one to it like so. And after we're done with our loop, we're going to simply have a variable called count. And this is going to be really simple. When we have count, we're going to loop through this object that we have here and we're going to say if there are 1B, 1A, 2Ls, 2Os and 1N, these are the letters we need to form balloon. If we have these inside of this object that we have here, increment count. Well, if we check, we do have 1B, we do have 1A, we do have 2Ls, 2Os and 1N. Now that we have them, we're going to decrement them because we're going to use them. So N is going to become 1 and because we need 2Ls, in the word balloon, we're going to subtract two from this one, but this one is going to get subtracted by one, this one as well, and this one too. So we're going to do this and these are going to become zero and we're going to increment count. Now we know we can have at least one balloon out of this string that we have here. If these were not zero, meaning we had more letters here, we could keep on looping through this. Each time we're going to decrement these and increment our count. Now that these are zero, we're going to stop and we're going to return our count as our answer. Now let's code this in the simplest way possible. Alrighty, let's code this together. So just like we saw in the slides, the first thing that we need is going to be our frequency object. And this is going to be an empty object. Then we're going to loop through each letter that we have inside of our text. So for let letter of text, we're going to loop through each letter inside of text. And this text was given to us by the question. Each time we're going to be like, check the frequency object with this letter. If it exists, we want to add one to it. And if it doesn't, we want to initiate it with the value of one because we have one occurrence of that letter inside of our text. So we're going to say frequency object of that letter plus one. But if this doesn't exist, meaning it's the first time we actually come across that letter, for example, N, just like we saw in the slides, we need to initiate it. We're going to say or zero. So it's saying if this does exist, get this one and then add one to it. If it doesn't get zero and then add one to it and whatever this is going to be, that's going to be the frequency of that letter that we have here. Now this is going to fill our object and then we're going to initialize our count to be zero in the beginning. Now we're going to have a simple loop to check how many times we can form the word balloon. After you actually have this frequency object filled with the amount of occurrences of each letter that we have, there are a lot of ways to actually find how many times you can form a word. I'm going to go with this approach because it's more intuitive. There's another approach that requires some division and finding the minimum, but I think this approach is going to be more intuitive and easier to understand. We're going to say frequency at the letter B, if it is greater or equal to one, because we need only one occurrence of the letter B inside balloon. And if frequency 
with the letter A is also greater or equal to 1. You see where I'm going with this. And frequency with the letter L, this has to be greater or equal to 2. And then same thing for O, we're going to say O greater or equal to 2. And then at the end, we're going to have N over here being greater or equal to 1. If this is the case, we want to keep on looping and each time we're going to be like, since we have these letters, we need to use them and then increment count. So we're going to say frequency of the letter B decrement frequency of the letter A decrement frequency of the letter L should be equal to frequency of the letter L minus two because we need two L's to form balloon. And then we're going to have something similar for O. So I'm just going to use O and then same thing for here. And then at the end, we need to also decrement the frequency of N. We're going to increment count. Simple as that. And at the end, we're going to return count. As I mentioned, there's another approach to do it, but like this is more intuitive and it's easier to grasp. So let's run this and see if we can actually get accepted. Moment of truth. I hope I've not made any typos. We got accepted. Let's see if we can actually submit this and pass all the test cases. And yep, we got accepted. That's awesome. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep on coding.